directly from Diddy, right? Mm -hmm. To find those whiff punishes. Oh, absolutely. Speaking of which, looks like we're going to uh, Town and City here. Unless Ooh. that Mega Man is not what that is. I, I don't think I've ever seen that graphic. I... Listen, it's a special little Easter egg. I Sometimes like you it. just gotta be a little bit extra. Sometimes you gotta be a little bit <laughs> mega. Sometimes yeah. you gotta be a little bit extra. Oh, why are these going over my head right now? I wow. don't know. <laughs> it's, it's really one of those days. Steelix, no fooling around with the Dr. Mario for this menace. He is going straight to the tried and true Falco that had him. Well, I mean, has had him, him as one of the hidden bosses of New York City for a long time. And, you know, appeared in Connecticut over in Smash 4. So, oh, very used to this character and now having to fight one of the most common matchups in the game in Palutena here on Town & City Swiss. What do you think of this stage pick? Well, I actually like the stage pick. It gets plenty of... I don't know who exactly chose it here, but there's plenty of room to move around here for Steelix. You're not really up in Palutena's face, which is good. You can start pressuring here with some lasers. But Palutena likes it as well because, you know, you got the little projectiles and you got plenty of space to move around as well. Yeah. So honestly, I think it's pretty even for both characters mm -hmm. here. I, I agree that it's pretty even. I do think it's slightly Palu favored and I would be... I, I would be curious to know as well who took us here because I think that Palu, right, finding a lot more with those back airs, those back throws, right, just more of your kills being horizontal and you're not really caring as much about the vertical height of your kills right. because of just how close to the blast zone you're hitting those up airs. And those I explosive think, plays I think, can go across the whole yeah, stage. Exactly. And and you do have, like, yeah, you have the Fal Falco laser to contest with. You have that frame one reflector. But it just can get be so hard for Falco to appropriately, you know, really force you to land in a way where he can you, you really not get punished for his low mobility and catch these landings, find these combos, find these up smashes, and really open up the set in the way that Falco's like to, but especially Steelix likes to. Right. You know, this has been quite the journey for Bars here because he's actually played a couple Falcos in bracket already. What a wall jump back on the stage <laughs> into the illusion. Steelix just cooking with that route out of disadvantage. It, trying to find a double jump down air, but Bars ready, holding onto the stock for dear life. But Steelix's defense okay. was immaculate, right? Even though Bars managed to hold onto that stock for almost another, you know, 45 seconds, Steelix took 10% in that time. It was just. And now has a lead, Wait a but minute. unfortunately, no. SD going too far out. The head bobbed down in the player cam. Yeah. He wasn't looking for that one. Well, you know, mistakes happen, but it's all right. You know what? Happy little Smiths mistakes win happy little games. Yeah, happy little accidents for sure. And if you're bars, you take those. those, those that being said, Steelix still putting the pressure on. Right? Came off the angle platform back into advantage state. Yeah, Fine he didn't need that stock. Slingshot. He's good here. He found up tilt, slingshot to turn around into that back air, right? Saying, I don't care that there's a, a high top blast zone. You're going to try to DI so that I get up air, not back air. So I'm going to slingshot it, mix you up, and just close it fully on out. That being said, you have to get away from the blender of aerial pressure that Palutena puts you in. Here we go. He's bringing out his own blender. The, the, the drift back drag down fair there from Steelix to reset the combo. Oh, something you often see Falcos do in dip, down air, or down tilt. Forward air loops, but we don't really see outside of that too often. Just beautiful awareness from him. The air dodge into the neutral air. Nice Steelix grab. is just customing in bars left and right. Here we go, though. Oh, little, ooh, almost unsafe there, but no punish. But he's up here. Palu just looking to fish some up airs. Yeah, back throw, not gonna do it just yet, even on those small blast zones. Uh, the explosive wow, thing, though. that clipped him. Yeah, it clipped him in the <laughs> DI. Bars was like, oh, yeah, bars, like <laughs> bars wasn't ready for it. Steelix was a little surprised, too. But if we get a replay of that moment, yeah. you're gonna see. Let's see, let's take a look at it, because I'm pretty sure what happens here. If oh, you he look, jumped into it. Yep, but let's take a zoom on in. Oh, okay. Uh. Right. We, we, yeah, I was gonna say if we jump back, oh, a little too far there. Um, and we look for that di line. Oh. Yep. Do you see it? Yes. It's going. Oh. It's going. Straight up. Yep. That's not how you want to di that move. Steelix <laughs> is getting caught a little bit off guard there, and it's unfortunate, right? But it happens to the best of us. Gonna close out the game, and you saw from the drift too, it was up and in. Yeah. So it was literally the worst possible DI there. And just unfortunate, like combined with the SD, a couple technical flubs here to try and make winners semis. 
eyes. But between Steelix and Bars, I mean, there's a pretty metal set we've got on our oh, hands. Oh, of course. Honestly, though, a little mental reset here, and Steelix is just back in the game. Look at this, 93. Easy. Oh, you, you thought I said mental. I said metal. <gasps> oh! It's going over. <laughs> I got you. I got you, homie. The drag down, down tilt. There, there's those loops we were talking about earlier. Steelix not able to convert, though, getting put back in disadvantage. But being a full stock up just less than 30 seconds in by, makes such a difference in the piece of this matchup. That being said, Bar's doing a great job answering back here. Oh, yes. All right, 46, though. All right, trying to get that extra credits. Yeah. Just the pressure there, trying to cross up shield, and I love that grab on the catch, utilizing the shield to kind of push you back down to ledge in front of you, and then finding that grab as X as pressure after the fact. Up air just again, right, saying, hey, Steelix, don't get too comfortable trying to go off for these edge guards. I've got disjoints to contest you with. The illusion, but still having the jump, the wall jump to boot, it didn't matter. He still had that fire, that firebird, could have made it back, but didn't even need it. All right, trying to go for the up smash. Last longer than you think, but didn't catch him. Down, Down tilt? tilt? No. No, not yet. The next one very much might, though, even with that staling. Steelix very content saying, hey, again, but just like we saw from Infernape last game, I have this lead. I'm going to just play very patient. I'm going to let you push the buttons come to me. I just want to catch you. Great angle there from Bars to find it back. Down tilt, going to do it go. this time. And now, one more stop. Steelix looking to answer back in the strongest sense possible, right? The time for play is over. I know only how to spit these bars. I'm starting to think that uh, Bars is the one that took us to Town City last time. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree with that. But even then, right, remember, there was that SD, there was a poor DI. Like, Steelix, right. like, really mental reset after that last game, right? Ending with that poor DI, the SD oh was like, copy, I, made some, I made some mistakes, but you know what? I'm not going to do that again. Never. You forget who I am. You forget how talented of a player I am. I have wins over just about every top player in the New York City scene. And, well, I want to take home this Arcadian. I don't want to be allowed back in the future. Right. I want to get banned. Here we go. If you want to get banned, just play Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Never touched Steve. I had a cousin, though, who was very into Steve. I'm like, okay, that's cool. I am never playing against you. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, talk about unfortunate family situations indeed right now, though. No pit for Palu to smack around. It's just going to be this space captain here. Falco trying to close it on. Steelix finding the up smash. Going to close it out. Even yeah. up the set. One more game here. Not the three stock you want. One but, more. I mean, come on. Two stock? Like, that's oh, a pretty big answer. Not just two stock. Low percent two stock. 36% mm, day. Almost a JV. Well, you know, almost, but right, close doesn't quite cut it here. That being said, you still do get to close out the game. Taught unfortunate miss tech there, and just watch this pressure from Steelix in every situation. Right, the empty hops here. If we jump back, like I just wanna, I wanna take a take a look at this for a second. Watch this. He empty hops once. Yeah. Pa good patience. Empty twice. hops twice. Saying, okay, you're gonna jump right. You're gonna go for it again. And that's when Steelix finds that up smash saying, I know you're going to look for this this jump here because, right, again, I'm conditioning it out. You don't want to roll through. You don't want a neutral get up. The right. jump is explicitly kind of weak to a jump on a double jump, drop, drop off, a drop off double jump. And that's exactly what he An interesting choice in stage here. I don't know if I agree with it. Um, I, I get it in theory, right? You're trying to live longer here against mm. Steelix's combos. So you are going to see a lot of bars trying to, in theory at least, prioritize stage control, not get put in the corner where those back airs can kill early, or, or not get put off stage where those down airs, right, can spike you and that percent doesn't really matter. And instead, just try and utilize the fact that Palu gets to juggle you seven days a week if she puts you in the air. Falco's not great air movement speed in general, right, to just lock you down and never let Steelix get away. If I could speak up for a moment mm -hmm. yes, about Falco on Kalos, yes. because this is Bars' choice. Yes. Um, a big annoyance characters can run into, especially if they're trying to spike Falco doing Falco fire or whatever, is he can kind of just mush himself into the stage yep. and an on-stage downer isn't going to hit him. There is no inside of the stage to mush himself yeah. into here. That's the important thing. But numbers oh. is talking about numbers is talking about the idea of of wall riding mm -hmm. on stages with a bottom where you can kind of ride, ride the wall, which you yeah. can still it's do here. It's significantly less effective mm -hmm. on yeah. a wall stage. Yeah, wall riding not as good when the wall is in fact just straight up and down. Gotcha. 
So it will allow bars to get edge guards. That's yes. the important thing. Yes. Mm. As well as live longer on some of these combo strings, right? And there's been a very even set here, Swiss. Right, back and forth, back and forth. Both players are just answering each other back. Nobody able to open it, bite up yet. This Nair, though, putting in the blender. That was Bars' opportunity, but I love the high illusion there from Steelix. Utilizing that platform as cover to just find his way back. All right, tried to go for the jab, but uh, unfortunately got turned around there. Ooh. Yeah, and he looks for that reflector extension, too. Steelix is cooking, right? You're seeing all of these specials trying to come out. Out the illusion, the laser or the reflector has no. combo extenders Too and low there for bars. Yeah, didn't have a jump. Oh, uh, didn't even notice he didn't have a jump, my goodness. Yeah, and now the drag down that fair just gonna be opting to just take stage control here, right? Who needs those down air loops when you messed them up earlier when instead you can just reset, right? Find your way to these platforms, find your way to the corner, and just rack this damage on Steelix now, right? That one we were talking about who found that break mm -hmm. and is very close to sealing this one out. Just about, okay. Yeah, but that, that wall jump, that's what I was like, I don't know about this, dude. Yeah, that is that one X factor, but again, right, it's still that very linear recovery mm -hmm. where it's a lot harder to mix up, even though you have the extra. Oh, the wall jump, are what? you kidding me? He called wow. out the up air, <laughs> knowing that <laughs> it, it, it has a you know? disjoint. So the thing with that up, up yeah. air, right, it has a disjoint. However, it doesn't, it doesn't matter when it's rising, and so that up tilt called you, called out, out. It was well, the down tilt. Yeah, so no, I'm saying that the down tilt called out the up air. Thank uh, you. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah. my words a no, little no, bit it's jarbled okay. here. Hey, look, there. words are hard. It's I get it. It was absolutely gorgeous. But we'll talk about it when it comes on up in this replay can. In the meantime, just, yeah, the explosive flame catching you right a little there. too. Yeah, like, look at this, right? I'm sorry, you, I did a bad job. No, 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 it's, it's okay. It's well, we got that frame perfect. It's, it's all good. So you see, right? Right. We'll, we'll zoom in on here. Um, and just look at where that down tilt's hitting, right? Here's the down tilt right, right there. And if you see, I'm gonna make it uh, orange, or no, green, it, it'll be easier to see. There's Palu's head, right? Yes. So even though you've got, right, the wings here, the wings here, her head is still, right, cause it's rising, that disjoint yeah. is where the wings are. Or her head, still very much a hurt box. Mm -hmm. And because it's rising, she's pulling herself right up with it. So. Steelix just using the down tilt, saying, okay, you might be throwing out a disjoint and aerial, but in order to contest me, you have to be bringing your hurt box to me, and so it's not going to matter if there's a disjoint. Wow. The honestly, just excellent play there. Oof. And it, it looks a little weird, because as soon as Palu gets put into that tumble animation, yeah. when she gets put in into hit pause, um, she kind of crumples up a little bit, and her head ducks back below, and that's right. why it looked like 